that, uh, okay, so yellow is you have a minute. Red is you have 30 seconds. 30 seconds means wrap it up. You have five minutes, correct? In which to tell your story. Well, Story, story Slam was something that um, I heard about. I'd heard Story Slams on the radio and podcasts, and it was something that, because I'd lived on Bainbridge a long time, and I knew some writers and actors and people who like to tell stories, that I thought it would be fun just to have one here. We got together at Field's End and decided to put one on, and it ended up being standing room only, and we had um, over a dozen people sign up to be storytellers, and there was just great embrace from the community. Kate Walton, where are you, babe? Bring it. We do them about every six months. We try to hit kind of an off-season time where people aren't busy with holidays or school vacations or things like that. Once the, the dish had passed inspection, we mixed up the brownie batter and we poured it in the dish and we put it in the microwave and we felt like freaking astronauts. <laughs> <laughs> then we did what we always did when we made brownies, which is that we set the time for 30 minutes. Oh, oh, <laughs> yeah, 30. Six times the number of minutes that it takes to cook brownies in a microwave. Because it turns out that was the second thing about microwaves, that was the thing we didn't know. <laughs> Not only did we put them in for 30 minutes, but we left. We went downstairs to the basement because we had a play to practice. So while we were down in the basement, which was soon to serve as something of a bomb shelter, <laughs> my dad was just outside the kitchen window mowing the lawn on this ride-on mower that we had bought at a garage sale. And he stopped mowing because he smelled this terrible, terrible smell. A smell so terrible that he started to dismantle the lawnmower. <laughs> part by part, belt by belt, in this frantic attempt to get at the source of this god-awful stench. <laughs> now, some of you know my dad who lives on the island. He's a, he's a very good artist, but he's not a mechanic. <laughs> Any lawnmower that he takes apart is unlikely to be reassembled, <laughs> ever. So this was the scene that Gretchen and I came across when we tripped upstairs to check out our handiwork. The kitchen was shrouded in this deep fog. It was sort of a post Pillsbury miasma. When we pried open the microwave door, this glass dish was completely blackened. It was actually fused to the microwave with this sort of brownie-based super glue. Well, we have no idea what anyone's going to say. They just email us and ask to be on the list, and once the list gets filled up, if it gets filled up early, then we cut it off and have a standby list. Um, and if it's not that full and we have some space, people can walk in and tell their story. We had a, I think we had a couple people walk in tonight and get to tell their story. Fortunately, 13 years later, she met the true hero of her life, who came and swept her away, and brought her to a better life. And he took me and my sister and my brother along, and he was a very good man. He was the kind of man that I thought that when I got older, I wanted to marry somebody just like him.